Hello and welcome to another episode of Box with Pa. And today I bring you guys Ghost Tech's Iron Armor 3 case for the Moto G Play. Let's take a look at it. First time watching one of my videos, or in case you're first time hearing about Ghost Tech, they carry not one, nor two, or three, but they carry eight different styles of cases for the majority of phones so that everybody can find something that fits their needs. This was made with love, and I'm just I'm so elated, I'm so happy to find a company that that is transparent, that their product is good, and that you can tell again that they're putting time and effort and just a lot, a lot, a lot of attention into this. And like I said, I really feel this packaging is made for me. Dude, just look at the color scheme, look at the holographic name tag, that, that just screams out your name. You know, when you see Moto G Play, you're gonna say, oh, I have a Moto G Play, you know? <laughs> and I love the clear plastic window, it lets you see the product inside. I love the metallic clasp that holds the whole uh, packaging together. It doesn't cost much, it really, really is just pennies on the dollar, and it really goes a long way. The QR code lets you see your case in a different light. People love that, you know, rather than just seeing your case all static like that, they can see what it actually looks like or they can see it in action, you know? And again, the back, very, very glossy back. And I'm a fan of the fact that they're very honest. Uh, this is the iron armor, so you can carry um, cards or you can carry your ID in this, and it tells you that it is limited to exactly one card. So you're not, you know, getting your hopes up of carrying multiple cards in here, it tells you it just carries one card. And again, this one in particular is the Iron Armor 3. So what that means is that it is a case with a kickstand, with a belt clip, and a one card holder. Now that is really, really, really cool. Let's go ahead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Where's the, yeah, there it is. That Ghost Tech sticker to help build that brand loyalty, okay? All right, always very, very nice to have. Now, this case can be found on GhostUp's website for $24.98. Now, that is actually a really good deal considering, again, the fact that this is a multiple layer case, you know? And it comes with a screen protector, holy cow! How did I not know that? This isn't mentioned it comes with a screen protector, holy... What? This came with a screen protector, holy cow! Uh, ghost tech, you're letting me down. So I, I I can't keep quiet about stuff like this. So it came with a screen protector. That was a very nice surprise. Very, very, very happily surprised there. However, yeah, you see that? Now, this was inside a foam sleeve inside the case, inside this, inside the box, inside another plastic sleeve, inside another big box that came shipped to me. Um, there's no way it's got dinged up in packaging. 
Um, and I, you guys are making me look bad now because I literally just filled my mouth saying how you guys put a lot of time and effort into this. And then I get this. Now, I, I get it. I get that we all make mistakes. I get that this can be a slip up, you know, just address it. You know, I have not had to deal with their customer service yet. However, I can't imagine them giving you a hard time over replacing something like this because something like this is definitely going to put a damper in your day. And, um, yeah, dude, that's, um, that's troublesome. You know, and like, I already broke that. Um, that's no, that, I mean, it's a small defect, but it's a defect nonetheless, you know, and I would hate to think that they are sending them out like that or they're putting them in there for free because they're subpar. You know, if a product is subpar, don't, 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 don't give it to customers, you know, and especially don't give it to someone that makes videos about this. Okay. We're going to continue keep going through this just because it's a one-off ticket. I'm, I'm, we're going to give them the benefit of that. All right. Let's go and continue with the rest of our case. So now the case, as mentioned earlier, is one with a kickstand and a belt clip. I'm going to pop our phone in there. And again, if I can be super honest with you guys, this looks like it's a little bit different than the other one. The, the, the plastic seems to be a, a different construction. Now this, if I'm not mistaken, this was meant to be thermoplastic polyurethane all around with an acrylic back, but that's not the case. There, okay, I, I was a little bit confused because the iron armor for the Moto E6 is actually clear polycarbonate, but it looks like this is also polycarbonate, this is black polycarbonate. Um, it, it should flex in theory, just like the other one. Um, we shouldn't run into any issues, but let's go ahead and continue. Now, uh, again, huge, huge fan, and I'm always very happy to see whenever the pinhole microphone cutouts are dead center, because it really bugs me, addressing with the wall when they're just slightly askew. And also we can see that our cutout for our USB-C cable is used for both charging, and that a transfer is not obstructed in any way, shape, or form. Now, also you can see our speaker holes, we can see a nice long slit there. They're not obstructed in any way, shape, or form. Now on the side, we do have a little hole for uh, where we can stick a, a loop for a lanyard. Very nice touch. And mm, so we can't really hear the buttons. They're not as clicky as I would like them to be. And that's, that's usually what I'm afraid of with cases like this. Um, they, they tend to inhibit your mobility a little bit. Uh, it's not that bad on this one, but it definitely, it's not as, uh, mobile. It's not as dexterous or articulated as something like the covert case, which is a lot thinner. It's not as rigid. It's definitely a lot more pliable. And that's probably what helps you have that greater control and that nicer feel over the case. Now over at the top, it looks like. Also, our headphone jack and our other pinhole microphone are also nice lined up, very well dead center. And that we can see that at the top, just like the other one, there is an additional cutout to accommodate the earpiece. So, very good attention to detail. Now, this back here feels a little loose and that's something that we didn't have with the iron armor on the Moto E6 and um, let's go ahead and see what our belt clip looks like very very nice material so uh, something that is different from the iron armor on the Moto E6 is that that was just like a smooth polycarbonate now this polycarbonate is different it has more of a, a soft feel to it it's it's almost um it almost has like a fuzzy feel to it. It's very, very soft, very nice to the touch. Let's go ahead and put our case in the belt holster and it fits in there very nicely. Um, the belt clip seems very secure. Again, usually, or it seems very tough. Usually when these things fall apart or when they fly out, they usually tend to fly out in the first try, you know, like that one, that one, that one came apart, right? So, so do that you can, Compared to is that the one on the Moto E6 did not come apart when we have them together. We're going to go ahead and 
give this one more toss up against the wall maybe because it's a heavier phone i'm not sure why but that one felt that one didn't fall apart this one did is it scientific does it really give us any data i don't know you tell me and that one didn't fall apart okay so that one did a lot better did not fall apart and okay still looks to be in fairly solid shape it looks like it keeps getting scuffed up on the same spot that's okay um let's go ahead and do our little drop test to see if okay well we're happening you know we're watching videos or watching movies or watching something and something comes along someone comes along and our phone falls from the table it falls from the surface where we were watching it typically that tends to be waist height um and i don't think anything happened to it it survived the fall this one didn't even it doesn't look like it broke um we're gonna try it one more time actually let's go ahead and try it over on this end can you see if that made a difference no it looks like it still survived you know if i can be honest with you guys i kind of want it to break i want to like that Let's find out. Okay, so. Uh, okay, let's see. I'll fall out. All right. So this is what I want to see. I want to see products fail, right? I want to see something being pushed to its breaking point. However, I think this thing should be able to be put back together. Well, I think I'm going to broke it. Go sick, please send me some more stuff. Don't don't let this be the last time you send me stuff. Um, well, I broke it, all right. Okay, well, I was hoping to, um, yeah, that's broken. Okay, well, I was hoping that I could snap this thing back together, um, but, it looks like that is not the case. This thing does not snap back together. I was hoping there was going to be like the other iron armor where it just flexed and did not break. Um, it looks like this one uh, broke. Um, this one is not as flexible as the other one. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it's like a different construction or what it is, but no, it bent. It's bending, so I'm not sure why two little clasps that were up here broke. Okay, so I'm gonna give them better for the down on this one just because I strongly feel that there's a pin here that I can't find that I should be able to just go ahead and stick right back in there and this should. Kudos to Gosek though, because again, this, this flexes and it bends as opposed to breaking. Huge, huge fan of that. That's the way most things should be. Um, Again, I'm sorry, go sec, please. Don't let this be the last time you send me stuff. Okay, so, so if you guys want complete dummies like me, you could actually put that thing back together, right? So this is exactly what I was looking for, right? Um, it looks to be like there is either one rod that goes in between it straight across or two little rods that go uh, in between it's right across. That is the case with the other iron armor case. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like I have lost the two little pins that go in here. I thought it was just one, but it looks like I have lost both of them. And again, that's awesome that again, it normally just bends and supposed to go ahead and uh, just break it and falling apart on you. But you should be able to repair that and put it back together. Uh, very, very good attention to detail on Ghost X Park. Now let's go ahead and finally test out uh, the way a credit card fits in here. So something that kind of bothered me a little bit about the previous case was that it was a little too tight, but I mean, you want it to be tight. You don't want it to be loose. You don't want your credit cards flying, you know, every which way. And it looks like, <laughs> holy cow. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Seems a little loose. I'm not sure if that had anything to do with me um, 
banging it around prior to this, but definitely a much looser feel to it. Um, I, I would be, I'd be wary of this one. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust my ID with this or my Apple cart with this. Cause it definitely feels, um, I mean, you guys saw it, it flew out, it flew out at me. Um, I don't know, I don't know what's happening here. I don't know if, um, maybe this might've been a one-off or what, but I'm kind of missing the mark here, Ghost Tech. I mean, the other one for the Moto, for the, the other one for this very same phone, the Covert case was a very nice case. I'm not sure why we're having such a hard time with this one. Um, but anyway, that's the case with the credit card in there. And let's see once it's in there all together. Okay. It's definitely a chunky boy. It definitely has to be packaged once it gets in there. But do remember that if you happen to be a doofus and you happen to be a dummy like me and you happen to break your kickstand like I do, always remember that you have another one built right into the belt clip, right? All you gotta do is position your phone as normally, um, obviously with the screen facing outwards so you can view it, and then facing outwards so you can view it. So if you happen to be a doofus like me and you happen to break your kickstand, you can always use your belt clip as a kickstand, like so. Problem solved. Great redundancy, ghost that great way of uh, thinking ahead and uh, solving future problems that might arise. And um, guys, go ahead and let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on this case? Uh, you know, would you use this? What would you put in here? Would you actually put a credit card or would you put your ID in there? I would probably put my ID as for the most part, all my credit cards are loaded up onto my phone. Um, let me know in the comments and make sure to be subscribed so that you guys can be entered into the giveaway for the Apple II Joy Tab 2 tablet. At the moment I reach 750 subscribers, I will be picking one subscriber at random out of all of you who have subscribed, out of all of you who have commented to get one of these, all right? And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>